Have you noticed how people tend to shrink when they feel judged by people who observe them and hold power over them? There are ways to observe teachers in what we call at the Brain Center a mind guiding or a mutual mentoring approach that allow both the teacher and the observer to both speak up and feel heard. There's real growth opportunities when you start with the observed in the conversation after the observation and that's possible in exciting ways through these observation forms. It works with the brain in that it adds serotonin, the chemical for well-being, and that increases when people feel valued and respected for their capabilities. So what we do is we turn around the observation by learning from the teacher being observed before the observer makes suggestions about change. In these forms, the brain-based approaches are laid out in many task opportunities, brainstorming opportunities, and observable form opportunities, all with a table of contents for you to navigate your way around easily and use what works well for your observations. The growth is facilitated by support, encouragement, and genuine collaboration between the persons observing and observed. And it's possible to have that happen because the brain's working memory works better to foster change when few specifics are discussed. And these observation forms allow that to happen and what is discussed is rolled into doable practices that relate to the teacher. Change takes hold when observers and teachers see and agree on its benefits for both the students and the teachers' growth, so it makes sense to bring those together. So, for example, the templates and the forms that the teachers are able to use here allow the teacher to start with three aspects of the lesson that went well. After that is time for the teacher to suggest three changes he or she may make at which point the observer can come in and possibly add a wealth of suggestions from that person's own experience. It's dynamic and it's excited in a mind guiding fashion which means a mutual mentoring fashion so that you can get at things like what was the main goal of the lesson? That's in the observation form. What content did the students learn especially well and what was the evidence? What content are they still not sure of and what's the evidence of that? There are opportunities for teachers to step out of their own practice a moment and reflect back in through these mind guiding opportunities where they can look for example through the eyes of an advanced student in the class that day or look behind the student who may be weaker and was bored sitting in class and respond from that student's perspective and then of course from most students perspectives. These opportunities are only enhanced by additional brain-based materials where multiple intelligence tasks, brainstorming opportunities, and opportunities to look at opposite sides of issues are all accessible in these brain-based materials for upper grades. Please do leave a brief positive review if you found these teacher observation materials and materials for teachers to practice for an observation and take a look through the lens of many of their students, please do contact me if there are any other ways that I could help and respond to needs in your class because I would be honored to help in any way possible. In my 35 plus years of teaching and working with student teaching and making observations, I have seen teachers come alive when they can be encouraged to talk about their own practice before I jump in and the guides in these materials allow them to do that and to feel that support that each of us deserve.
the best.